Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Gopanora Mashala, Founder and Managing Director at Bakwena Telecommunications. I've been MIA, I know, I'm sorry, but yeah, life has been lifing and we've been lifing it and living it. So you'll excuse me when it comes to that. Now, in today's video, or what basically pushed me to make sure that I record something for you loyal subscribers and everybody else that will be joining us, is that we have decided to move from our previous hardware vendor to another hardware vendor. Now, we'd previously been using the simple and easy to use with the beautiful interface Ubiquiti in terms of our access points on our towers and our client antennas. Now we will be using a full Microtech stack from our core equipment to our tower equipment and that is routers to the actual access point themselves and the client devices. Why you might ask? Well, unfortunately the guys at Ubiquiti have been sleeping on their job. <laughs> no, for reals, for reals, they've been sleeping on the jobs. We've been trying to get them to focus on doing some Wi-Fi 6 or even Wi-Fi 7 gear for that point and get it out of them. They've been showing them at shows saying that they're going to release this and there have been no shows. So Microtech have stepped up to the bar, have stepped up to the plate and have given us access points as well as client antennas. So now we have full coverage of 802.11.ax, which is the Wi-Fi 6 standard. Why am I so excited about this, you may ask? Well, let me tell you something. Some of you may already know uh, the Muntbox 15AX, which I've been mentioning in my hotspot videos. That access point has a capacity in the 5 gigahertz spectrum of around about 2400 megabits per second. This is wonderful. So does other devices like the Netbox AX, uh, the Netmetal AX. They have similar capacities or if not the same. That means we can achieve very good data rates over the 5 gigahertz spectrum now. This is great news with the new towers that we'll be putting up and some of the old towers which will be changing out the point-to-point -point equipment between the towers, meaning they'll be getting better speeds, sharper latency, and obviously the overall user experience will be wonderful. So I'm very much excited and this will be a move in the very good direction. Bigger capacity packages will now be available. So as wireless ISPs will be able to compete with the fiber providers without any issues whatsoever. So this means we have quicker deployment now and we can match their speeds. If one access point, and this is theoretical, that it can provide up to 2,500 megabits per second of throughput, it means realistically we could push run about a gig from it. And now that also means we can have a greater amount of concurrent users per access point as we did before. With the previous Wi-Fi 5 standards, we could really push the limits to run about 30 subscribers per AP, but now we can push that up to four times because it's 40% more throughput than we would get before. So we literally can get around about 100 and Theoretically, they say 128 subscribers per access point. So I would cap it at around about 100 per access point. And if you have a four sectors on a tower, that means you can literally put four subscribers, 400, I mean, subscribers per tower, and you'd get a nice return on investment. So with that said, what Mikrotik has done is absolutely beautiful. I mean, if you look on the screen right now, I have a point-to-point -point link between two towers. 
So on this side, which is side A, I'll say, I have the access point and on this side I have, uh, which I'll say is side B, I have the station device, the client device. So one side is obviously providing internet to the other side from our main tower in a certain area to another tower in a certain area. And as of late, as we've been adding more and more clients to side B, we've been seeing some latency issues here and there and some speed issues here and there simply because the equipment has now created a bottleneck. So it's, it can't do what we want it to do. The throughput, as you can see, is around about 400 megs. And this is now theoretical, but the actual data rates that we are pushing down this wireless bridge is two to 300 megs. At peak times, it obviously gets more and more. So with that said, we have to change this link up we need at least a gig up and down. So we can see latency moving faster, of which the Wi-Fi 6 standard is now known for improving. And yeah, uh, that's the wonder we're gonna see. Uh, greater latency, greater throughput, which means happier clients and a greater experience overall for everybody that will be using our internet from Bakwina Telecoms. I want to implore you uh, to stick around and continue with these videos because we'll be starting a wireless ISP series. So like the hotspot series where we had been breaking down the type of equipment you're going to need, the software to manage the whole network, how to set it up, this and that, we'll be doing that step by step with you now. And I'd like us to, to go on a journey together and build these businesses, build these ISPs and have people in our communities connected. Whether you want to start your own community network, that will be non-profit, but you'll obviously have packages that will be paid for to sustain everything. Or you want to go to a for-profit type of model and build your own wireless ISP. I implore you, subscribe like this video subscription is free you don't have to pay a cent and you guys will be able to access this beautiful content and information and be able to do it yourself as well as how i'm doing it too so please that's the exciting news that i wanted to share and how we'll be improving things on our network for our subscribers any new towers that we'll be building we're going completely ax and Wi-Fi 6 is the new standard because the we want less interference, we want greater throughput, we want to give our customers greater packages with faster speeds. We just want to do better and better and better and keep closing this digital divide, which is one of the most important things and our missions here at Bakuna Telecommunications. So thank you for joining me once again. It's been a pleasure talking to you, commenting, replying. Um, I know sometimes I'm not as quick as I should be in terms of replying to your emails or jumping on these consultations. But at the end of the day, business is business and it does get a bit tight sometimes. And the little other time that I do have, I'd like to spend with my family. So yeah, with all that said, thank you for joining us. And we look forward to seeing you next time as we start and impart on this series of how to build a wireless ISP. Thank you very much for joining us. My name is Gopano Ramashala. Till next time.